Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This is a new series called Harvesting and Cooking at the Homestead or something like that. So I'm going to be harvesting different vegetables, different herbs, all kinds of stuff out of my garden and I'm going to cook something with it. Today I'm going to show you how to make leek and potato soup. Now this is going to be different than some cooking shows. I am not going to give you a recipe written down. I'm going to teach you principles. And if you want to subscribe, you can follow me and I'll show you how I grow all these vegetables. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to harvest some leeks. Leeks have an onion-like taste, real easy to grow. These are on the outside of my garden, which means deer don't really tend to bother them. I have never had a deer come and eat any of these. So you can grow these in a place where you don't have protection for deer. I'm going to harvest, uh, I think we'll go with four leeks. And leeks can get dirty, so what we're going to do is we're going to just cut them right here, cut them down the middle, peel off the outer layers, and we're just going to clean out all the sand. And we're going to chop this up, saute it down, I'll show you how to do it. Now these are got a little bit beat up because they dried out. Typically they're thicker, but your plants don't have to be perfect to cook with them. This is more of what you're looking for, something about this size. So we'll actually go with, let's see if I can find a bigger one, we're going to go with six so I have enough leeks. I also found garlic that I threw out um, from my bed right over there. We'll take some garlic, put that in there, and if you wanted to add some more onion taste, let's see, this one's fine. Um, you could throw in some onions, but you don't have to. So let's go over to the potatoes. Potatoes I'm growing in several places, but I did hills of potatoes right over here, and I was cleaning out a bunch of weeds. You know, I got tired out in the middle of July, let the weeds take over, but as I was cleaning out the weeds, I knew that the potatoes in here were ready. So I'm going to pick some potatoes. In here I have French fingerlings, and what I'm doing is I'm leaving the potatoes in the ground. They will kind of just stay stored in there, and we're going to get a lot of potatoes. Anything that's on the surface from pulling the weeds, I'm going to put into the soup. And you can peel them, or you can leave the skin on, but they're going to get chopped up. And basically, we're just chopping everything, sauteing it, softening it, adding butter, adding chicken stock, and then we puree it down with a hand blender. These are purple potatoes. Get more of those. There's one over there. On this side, I have, these are German butterball. So that's a good amount of potatoes. I want a few more, then we'll go grab some herbs. Some bigger fingerlings. Purple potatoes again. And maybe just a couple bigger, maybe of the Red Norlands or the Kennebecs. See what's in here. And that should work. There we go. All right, so I have plenty of potatoes. Let's grab those herbs. So I'm going to use rosemary. Probably best if, oh, it's breaking off nicely. A couple of the freshly grown sprigs where they're not woody, they're nice and green. And some of this will go into the leek soup as it's, let's see if I can grab that one. Got it. As it's sauteing down. Um, but most of it will go in after it's finished right on top of the soup. So I've got my rosemary, I'll grab some thyme on the way in and we'll get to cooking. I actually stopped to pick the thyme. I just wanted to show you this space. This is my pollinator garden. So it brings in all the good insects for my garden for pollination obviously. But I also use thyme and oregano as a ground cover along with all these weeds. And this is thyme, so I'm just going to again grab the fresh growth, see if I can pull some off, a couple handfuls. It grows really well. It tends to die back and then it regrows, but we're just going to use the tender ends of the thyme for the leek and potato soup. All right, we're in the kitchen. Now one of the hardest things about doing cooking videos is it takes a lot of time to do this and they aren't often well received on YouTube um, when you have a garden channel, but I'm going to do this because so many people have been asking, what do you do with your produce and can you teach me how to cook some things? So my daughter, my wife, and two dogs are running around. You may hear them in the background. So we're going to prep the leeks so that they look something like this. I'll show you how to do that. And we have, I think we had German butterball, French fingerling, 
Purple Majesty. We also had Red Norlands. That's a smaller one, Red Norland. And then we had the Kennebex. And the way that I determine how many potatoes to use is really based on the size of your pot. We're going to fill this up um, a little past halfway with potatoes. If you want to make more, you use a bigger pot. But you again, you're going to take it about halfway up. And I'm using just a mix of the potatoes. I'm not going to peel the skin. These are going to get pureed with the immersion blender. But you could peel the skin if you want to. So that's what we're going with for the potatoes. You know, maybe two thirds of the way. And then the ratio, I'm thinking we'll use this much of the leek. Um, I may use some of the greenery at the end to decorate the soup when we plate it. But I'm thinking five or six will do pretty well to give this that nice leek flavor. Now, when we're prepping the leeks, you probably want to do this part outside, but I do have the box for it. And here's the knife, because it can be kind of messy. So you just cut off the bottom. It should be pretty tender. Now these leeks aren't the best, they're a little suspect, but they're going to taste great. And you just peel off the layers until it's looking pretty good. Go up to about here, cut off the green. If the green was looking a little bit better, I might use more. I'm going to take this one off in my leek soup, but you can eat the greens, but the best flavor is right in here. And when we cut this open, you're going to see, be very careful, that this is layers. And these layers can get filled with dirt. So we're going to really just wash these through, clean them up, and then just cut them down into little pieces and saute them. So let me get the leeks ready. And let me just move this right over to here. Let's keep it simple. So the herbs, one trick, let's pull this in, is for time when it's nice and green and it's not woody growth in there, just use scissors. You could chop it if you want, but I just trim it down. This will go into the soup while it's cooking and I will also save some to sprinkle on the top. And the same thing with the rosemary. Because this is such tender green growth, we could just chop this up and use all of it. If it was a little bit more woody coming down here, just pull off the leaves and you could chop this up or use a pair of scissors and just trim it down. So I will prepare all the herbs the same way. Also good to throw in an onion because again, I said my leeks look a little bit suspect. They're not plump. Um, they're not really green. So this will just add in a little extra onion flavor and the garlic that I found sitting there. All right, let me get this all prepped, cut up the potatoes and I'll show you the next step. So leeks are cut up, mostly washed, a little bit dirt won't hurt you. But again, you know, they've got these ribbons in there. And to get them ready for the saute, you're going to cut them in half, first of all. And then just use any knife, however you want to do it. I am not going to wow you with my fancy cutting. And then just chop them up like that. And this is what we're going to saute. We'll use two or three tablespoons of butter to soften these up before they go into the pot to finish cooking. So we're going to saute down the leeks and soften them up with some butter and then put them into the pot. The potatoes are going to go right into the pot, but you want to cut them into pieces about this size so that they cook pretty quickly. And I'm just going to dice up all the potatoes and then we'll move to the next step. We have the ingredients, we have the leeks, and I actually tasted them. They tasted really well. So you don't have to add the onion or garlic if you don't want to, but that onion was sitting out there and it was still in good shape, so I want to use it. Potatoes, now with the purple potatoes, a lot of that color cooks out, but you can imagine if we were mixing in <laughs> some purple with some green and we puree it, this may not be a beautiful light color. Um, it may be a little funky looking, but it's gonna taste delicious. Some leek greens cut up for the end, time to go in. Pepper, salt, that will go in at the end. This is not really a reduction. So when you're making tomato sauce, for instance, you're reducing that down from a lot of quantity of liquid to something smaller. Don't season when you have a lot of liquid in there that's gonna be a reduction because it'll end up being too salty or too strong. Always put the seasons in at the end and that's what we'll do here too. And we also have the rosemary. Potatoes are good. 
let me just put this down. If I can do this one hand, you can certainly do this, even if you've never cooked before. And again, we're talking about principles. So about two or three tablespoons of butter into a frying pan. We're going to lightly saute this. You don't want to overheat it so that it turns brown. You just want to keep moving it around, maybe on medium heat. Everybody's stove is going to be a little bit different. And then we'll just keep an eye on this 10 minutes or so until it softens up. And then we're going to transfer everything over into this pot. When it goes into the pot, we add in the potatoes. You can use chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock. You could use beef stock if you wanted. You could use water. Chicken stock is going to give it a nice flavor. And we'll fill that pot to cover everything that's going into there. And then we'll add in some of those ingredients. All right, let me get the sauteing finished up and we'll move on. If in doubt, you know, cook this on medium, a little bit lower than you might think if you're just learning. You don't want this to brown. We're not caramelizing this. If we were making French onion soup, we'd be using some butter and we would be caramelizing the onions so we want them to get brown. These are just going to be sauteed so they're translucent, nice and soft, and then they're going to go into the pot. Potatoes are in the pot. The sauteed leeks are on top and I got distracted. You can see that they're a little bit brown. That's going to be fine. You don't want that to happen again. You want them to be nice and translucent. So we're going to put in the chicken stock and we're going to just put in enough to take it to the top. I might need a second one. I'll do that off camera. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more because I'm making a lot. But you want to bring the liquid till it just comes right to there so that you can see it on top of the leeks. So we're going to set this to medium high, bring it up to a boil, then we're going to simmer it down. I'm going to put in a dash of the rosemary. You can put in more, but it's pretty strong. A dash of the thyme. This is where I'll put in a dash of salt, a dash of pepper, and that's good to get it started. After this comes to a boil and then we let it simmer for 15 minutes, we're going to use the immersion blender and puree it. We're also going to add in a cup of, you can do heavy cream, light cream, you could do milk. I'm just going to do milk. All right, this is about to come to a boil and again, the liquid is just coming right to here with whatever you want to use. I did throw in the onions and the garlic that I prepared. I mean, it looks and smells wonderful. I could probably eat it just like this, but we're going to puree so this down. It's starting to boil. You can see it right in there. I'm going to turn this down to low. And then I'm just going to put the lid on it for 15 minutes. Let it simmer. It will soften everything and then we'll puree it down. All right, it's been 15 minutes and you just really want the potatoes to get soft. I mean, you could look for the biggest one, taste it. If it's soft, that means they're all soft. Turn the heat off at this point. And we are going to puree this down with the immersion blender, which is one of my favorite kitchen tools. Make sure you submerge it down to the bottom. You don't want to splash it everywhere. And just start with the pulse. And then you just let it go. So it's pureed down and it's a little bit thick. That's okay too. You could add in more chicken stock or whatever you're using in there. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to put in a little bit more salt. I do like the pepper in there, a little bit more pepper. And then I'm going to add in my cup of milk. Again, if you're using heavy cream, it's going to be much more elegant, richer, velvety tasting. And then I'll switch over here to a wooden spoon and just mix it through and that's going to thin it out and this is about the consistency that I like for my leek and potato soup. The leek and potato soup is done. It smells delicious. It tastes delicious. You can add in first if you want some Parmesan cheese which I highly recommend and then a little pinch of rosemary, a little pinch of thyme. You don't want to overdo it. It's more for the look and then some of your leeks. Let me get some good ones in here, right on top. And if you like salt like I do, a pinch of salt right across the top. And let's toss in some pepper for good measure. A leek and potato soup, fresh from the garden, absolutely delicious. If you want it to be less thick, you can add in more broth, add in more cream, however you want to do it. Thanks for watching, and if you like cooking videos, please let me know. They do take some time to shoot. I like doing it and I will continue to do more if
people are really interested in learning how to cook out of their garden. Thanks for watching and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.